greater than they'd ever dared to imagine. This is the time known as the Great Pirate Era. Come aboard and bring along all your hopes and dreams. One Piece is a Japanese shonen manga series turned animated television series written and illustrated by Ashira Oda. Published on July 22nd of 1997 through Shueisha Inc.'s Weekly Shonen Jump magazine, the manga was adapted into an anime by the Japanese animation studio Toy Animation on October 20th of Written and illustrated by Ashira Oda, the One Piece manga was first serialized in Shuesha Inks, a Japanese publishing company headquartered in Tokyo, Japan, manga anthology Weekly Shonen Jump magazine in the 34th issue for July of 1997. According to a translation of an interview from Tokyo Daily News, first published on January 27th of 1993, Oda was interested in becoming a mangaka, the Japanese word for a comic artist or cartoonist, from at least 17 years old. When discussing his future during the same interview, a 17-year-old Oda had this to say, quote, I'd like to aim to become a professional manga artist after moving to Tokyo in the future, end quote. Besides gaining a fascination in drawing, Oda's interest in pirates also began when he was young, with his childhood viewing of the German-Austrian Japanese animated television series, Vicky the Viking, having acted as one of the principal inspirations for drawing a manga series about pirates. Apart from Vicky the Viking, Oda's biggest influence is Akira Toriyama's Dragon Ball series, a shonen martial arts adventure manga from 1984, which he labeled as, quote, one of his favorite manga, end quote. In the second data book for the series, titled One Piece Blue Dash Grand Data File, while working as an assistant to Nobuhiro Watsuki, a Japanese manga artist best known for his samurai-themed series, Samurai X. Oda began writing One Piece in 1996 as two one-shot stories, a work published as a single standalone story, entitled Romance Dawn. According to an interview with Takanori Asada, the original editor of One Piece, by TBS in March of 2018, the manga was rejected by Weekly Shonen Jump three times before Shueisha agreed to publish the series. The now 1,000 plus chapters have been collected into 98 Tankabon volumes, the Japanese term for a book that is not yet part of a series. As of February of 2021, since the first volumes were released in Japan on December 24th of 1997 by Shueisha Inc. With more than 480 million Tankabon volumes in circulation worldwide as of January of 2021, according to an article from AnimeSuite.com, One Piece is both the best-selling manga and the best-selling comic series of all time, and often its creator, Ashiro Oda is considered to have changed the history of manga, with Oricon's style ranking him as fourth in the top 10 list of the writers who changed the history of manga, with Osama Tezuka taking first, Akira Toriyama taking second, and Fujiko Fujio, the pen name for Hiroshi Fujimoto, and Otu Abiko taking third. that up then I want you to accept responsibility after which you get to apologize to me the world's greatest swordsman sounds pretty good originally premiering in Japan on Fuji TV in 1999 the now 958 plus episodes of the show have since been exported worldwide with many fans in countries without an official sub in their language making their own fan subs a version of a foreign film or foreign television program which has been translated by fans and subtitled into a language usually other than that of the original. At an approximate runtime of 25 minutes per episode, there is roughly 24,000 minutes, or 17 days, of the animated television series alone. And according to Anime News Network's encyclopedia, 
that comes to 9.85 million yen or approximately 94,000 US dollars at 100 million yen or roughly 95,000 US dollars per episode. On June 8th of 2004, the now defunct American licensing company, 4Kids Entertainment, acquired the license for distribution of One Piece in the West. After contracting the American manga publisher slash anime distributor Viz Media to handle home video distribution, the first 143 episodes were reduced to 104 to meet 4Kids mandated edits for content and length. Even the original opening of the show, using the song We Are, was changed by in-house musicians into a new song, titled Pirate Rap. The dub variant of the show, produced by 4Kids Entertainment, premiered in the United States on September 18th of 2004 on the Fox Network's weekend programming block, Fox Box TV, only for production to be halted two years later in 2006 after episode 143-104. In an interview from July 22nd of 2010, by ANN Cast, the senior vice president of digital media for 4Kids Entertainment, Mark Kirk, revealed that 4Kids most likely acquired One Piece as part of a package deal with other anime, and that the company did not screen the series before licensing it, as it contained a significant amount of imagery that made it inappropriate for their intended audience of children between 7 and 11. At the time when the licensing deals were being done for One Piece and Shaman King, I think they were kind of together. They were part of Shonen Jump and, you know, the same licensor. So they were probably some sort of package deal, right? Okay. And to be a successful property at the time, you had to be a kid's property, right? To be uber successful, to have the licensing programs and to have the toy lines. A toy company did not want a teen product or even – a, a, tw a tween product at the time, and there was really not a, a nice fit for it in 2003, right? So, or 2002 when these were all being worked out. The at the time, so they, hey, we have this great kids product. We want to license kid pro, you know, a kids a kids property. Oh, it looks great. It's rating well in Japan. It's kids stuff. Oh, here's all our toys, you know. So I think the the licensing group who acquired it. There weren't the checks in place with the production team back then that there are now in terms of screeners and total review, and they, they were just trying to acquire a hot property. And I think, you know, the ink, the ink was dry before all, the total amount of the pro, on the programming side of the deal was, was done, and uh, effectively the deal was done, and they were stuck with it. So they had to make it work for the deal's terms until they could essentially get out of it. So I, I really think that's kind of what happened is that at the, at, at the time we were somewhat new to acquiring and adapting this stuff. The, the rules were kind of flexible. Um, our process, internal process, wasn't quite there in terms of how content was reviewed. And I think it was really because it was a competitive deal to try to get the deal done it was done probably without the proper steps being taken that we would do today. And I'm not saying that they were missed back then. I just think they didn't exist because, you know, they were, you know, it was new, it was a newer type world and there was a lot of people competing for this, this kind of stuff. So I think what happened is they got, it got to the production team and we were, it was reviewed and they were like, wow, you have to make some changes. And, uh, and then they had the, you know, run it through broadcast standard and practices, and they came back with notes, and they had to then implement and do do a lot of things uh, to make it work. In order to meet the law when it came to the deal that allowed them to acquire One Piece, the company decided to edit it into a more child-oriented series until they had an opportunity to legally drop the license. This heavily edited version of the series removed things such as graphic violence, firearms, cigarettes, and some name changes for characters referencing unsuitable themes such as Ace, who could be seen as a reference to poker, and Smoker, which could be interpreted as a reference to tobacco-based products. 4Kids' version of the show is often regarded as a joke by fans of the One Piece series, with many claiming it to hurt the series as those who view only this version would swiftly become disinterested. On April 13th of 2007, the American entertainment company Funimation licensed the series and began premiering a renewed English dub with less censorship on Cartoon Network starting on September 29th 
of 2007. He's a very clever little birdie, having displayed sound strategic mind and profound memory. You're too much of a kid, kid. And he's right, you know, I got boys older than you. I'm not a kid! I'm a grown-up! Here, have some juice and calm down. The story itself has a rather simple yet engaging premise. The world of Ashiro Oda's One Piece is much like our own, except the vast majority of the world is oceans ruled by pirates during a golden age of piracy. The globe is divided into several small sectors. From the four blues, equivalent to the four ocean basins of our world, marked by the cardinal directions of north, east, west, and south, divided by a massive mountain range called the Red Line, to the massive belt that runs perpendicular to the Red Line, known as the Grand Line. This world is inhabited by both humans and several other races, including both fishmen and giants. In this world of giants and fishmen alike, the golden age of pirates is in effect. Meaning the oceans, known as the blues, are teeming with pirates, all with a similar goal of obtaining the fabled treasure known as the One Piece. A treasure hidden by the great pirate, Gold Roger, who, with his last words, sparked the golden age of pirates. In this world, we begin by following a ragtag crew of misfits, designed after several real-life people, ranging from actual pirates like the notorious Irish pirate and Bonnie, to friends-slash-colleagues of Oda. The original crew of the show, known as the Straw Hat Pirates, consisted of Roro Noah Zoro, also known as Pirate Hunter Zoro, an expert swordsman in the way of Santorio, a swordsmanship style which he created, where the practitioner wields three katana, one in each hand and one in the mouth, who was brought aboard after being saved from execution. Besides being the first of the Straw Hat Pirates crew, Zoro acts as the combatant slash fighter of the group as one of their two swordsmen. Nami, an intelligent girl with a lust for money and the goal of writing a complete map of the Grand Line, an ocean current approximately located around the entire equator of the world who was saved from a brutal fishman captures known as the Arlong Pirates. As a talented cartographer, Nami is both the second to join the Straw Hat Pirates and the crew's navigator. Usopp, a pathological liar with a gift for the arts and an incredible precision when sporting a slingshot, who was brought aboard after having his home saved from a notorious ex-pirate and his crew. Despite his normal cowardice, Usopp dreams of becoming a brave warrior of the sea and acts as the sniper of the Straw Hat Pirates. Sanji, also known as Black Like Sanji, an incredible cook with a unique fighting style, using only his legs and his severe weakness for women, who was rescued after being helped by the Straw Hat Pirates and saving the floating restaurant he worked at from a gang of pirates. Although acting as the cook of the crew, his current bounty is the third highest of the Straw Hat Pirates. And Monkey D. Luffy, also known as Straw Hat, besides acting as the leader of the crew, he has unique attributes of rubber bestowed upon him by a devil fruit. Mystical and mysterious fruits found throughout the world that, when consumed, grant the eater a special superhuman power at the cost of the eater's ability to swim. Luffy's lifelong dream is to become the Pirate King by obtaining the One Piece, the name the world gave to all the treasure gained by the Pirate King Gold D. Roger, a goal which he believes means having the most freedom in the world. I'm still so hungry! Outside the main plot, there have been several spin-offs and crossovers since its serialization in 1997. A single crossover of One Piece and Dragon Ball, created by both Oda and Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, titled Cross Epoch, was published in the December 25th issue of Weekly Shonen Jump in 2006. In a world where aspects of both stories have collided, resulting in characters like Nami going from a cat burglar to a space thief, the various characters from the respective series are trying to make their way to a party hosted by Shenron, a magical dragon from the Dragon Ball series. In April of 2011, Oda teamed up with the creator of Toriyuka, Mitsutoshi Shimibakuru, to create a crossover one-shot titled Taste of the Devil Fruit, taking place on Gourmet Island, an island filled with many delicious ingredients and immensely powerful beasts 
The story follows Luffy and Toriko, the protagonist of Toriko, in their adventure to make a delicious dish out of a devil fruit they found on the island. In January of 2015, the spin-off series One Piece Party, written by L. Ando, began serialization in an issue of Psycho Jump. The series is drawn in an art style known as Chibi, where the characters have been made shorter and rounder with every chapter being a self-contained gag story with no overarching plotline. This dawn. Outside the award-winning and revolutionary manga and anime adaptation, the story and its characters have been made into 14 films, with only the 8th, 10th, and 12th films having received in-house dubs produced by Funimation. Each film features a self-contained, completely original plot or an alternate retelling of one or more story arcs, which results in them contradicting both the main timeline and the design of the animated television series. Over 56 video games, which have either been produced by subsidiaries of Bandai or by Bandai Namco Entertainment. This doesn't include the several games in which characters and settings from the series make an appearance in other non-One Piece specific games, such as Battle Stadium D.O.N., Jump Superstars, and Jump Force. A series of light novels written by Tatsuya Hamasaki with artwork by Oda. Five art books, a book relating to art, specifically a book containing printed reproductions of works of art, and five guidebooks, a book of information, often about a place with the intended use for visitors or tourists. An indoor theme park located inside the Tokyo Tower, a communications and observation tower called the Tokyo One Piece Tower, which houses several attractions, shops, restaurants, and live shows. A restaurant named the Barietti, after the restaurant of the same name in the series, which opened in June of 2013 at the Fuji TV headquarters in Odaiba, Japan. When it was open, the restaurant served a rotating menu filled with real-life adaptations of food from the series. For example, the series' notorious devil fruit was an apple custard cream tart formed into the correct shape with added edible decorations. A trading card game by Bandai called One Piece CCG and an up-and-coming live-action series on Netflix that was announced on July 21st of 2017. While all 10 scripts have been written for the series, casting for the show only began in June of 2020, and the original date set to begin filming was delayed for some time at the end of 2020 due to the ongoing global pandemic, according to an interview with the producer, Martin Adelstein, by Sci-Fi Wire from May 19th of 2020. The show itself is set to film in Cape Town, South Africa. If you want to watch the show in its entirety for yourself, as well as read slash watch the additional content related to the series, you can find links to everything mentioned in both the description and pinned comment below. Thank you for watching. My name is Jacko, and if you want to know more about me, check out my Twitter, at Jacko-2026. If you enjoyed this video and would like to not only see them continue, but improve in quality, consider subscribing and or supporting us on Patreon. Link in the description below.